Hi, and welcome to a new William Hoins Discord poll discussion. So for those of you who doesn't know, I have a Discord channel, link to join in the description. But uh, once in a while, uh, last time was in June, I'm asking questions, doing some little polls, people answer, and then I make a video about the answers to discuss the subject matter. Hope it's clear. So last time it was all about MMORPG side content. How do you define side content in an MMO? Do you like side content? Why or why not? Which game can you think of that has the greatest need for it? Which game can you think of that should never have it? Explain why. What game has the best side content? Which has the worst? Elaborate. What is the best and or worst side content you have ever played? Where did you play it? Why is Layla always the prettiest character in every game they play? Do they consider it to be their personal form of side content or is it just a natural inclination? Please explain why fashion is the most crucial form of side content ever invented. Dissenting opinions are incorrect. So uh, when I say I ask question, it's actually most of the time uh, people from the Discord proposing a poll and then I copy paste it and tag everyone. This is how I roll. <laughs> so anyway, let's. Uh, oh, and, and yeah, I was I was saying this because um, that uh, that last poll was actually provided by Layla Little Nymph. So let's see what they have to say about that. What about MMORPG side content? How do you define side content in an MMO? It is content that deviates from other content in a meaningful way. It offers something that is in addition to the core game. An example would be a TCG versus raiding. Yes, raids are different, but they rely on the core mechanics of the game. In the end, it's just another flavor of combat. They are more of a specialized st instance tha than true side content. A TCG is also combat, but it incorporates mechanics not used elsewhere in the game. It is unique. Um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I would agree with all of that. Um, to me, side content, it's pretty much optional stuff you can do, but that, that won't really impact the, the core game. So, um, if, we, if we take raids, for example, it will Im impact the core game because it's combat, you will use the gear you got to get better gear and you will get XP and level up. So, but let's say housing. I think housing is a great form of side content. Um, played Final Fantasy XIV for <clears throat> about two years and um, to be honest, didn't really engage with housing and didn't lost anything in the process, but my guild uh, leader, she was uh, very into housing and uh, we had some kind of mansion and it was incredibly well decorated. And so it was pretty cool to go there and she enjoyed the, the process of making it pretty. Um, but uh, yeah, A anyway, let's continue. Do you like side content? Why or why not? Yes, it provides a break from the same old, same old, and is infinitely repeatable. It is relief from what bores you. For those that enjoy it, it constitutes endgame content. Which game can you think of that has the greatest need for it? Last year my answer would have been Villagers and Heroes, but the recent addition of housing is a step in the right direction. In my opinion, any true MMORPG that lacks some form of side content is an incomplete game. I would agree. Uh, which game can you think of that should never have it? Explain why. The distinction between... Uh, no. The, distin the distinction is between an MMORPG versus an MMO of nearly any other type. A traditional MMORPG that includes a rich storyline and extensive character development begs for good side content. It should, at the least, incorporate some form of housing. Uh, a MOBA 
game does not, because it's all about the combat and the PvP element. Overwatch, Smite, Team Fortress and Call of Duty don't need it, because the players drawn to the games like this would consider it effort wasted that could have been put to better use designing new weapons, heroes and arenas. Yeah, totally, uh, MMORPG is all about this social aspect, and there's always some crafting and a bunch of other stuff, um, so it makes sense, but yeah, I don't think many hardcore Call of Duty player would like to decorate their, uh, their homes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. What game has the best side content? Which has the worst? Elaborate. The best side content I ever played was in Free Realms, which is no longer with us. There was a huge variety of content like soccer, racing, and demolition derby, which you could rank up as a job in the same way you would in the same way you ranked up your combat class. There was gaming tables, a TCG, and a couple of independent games like Pirates Plunder and Tower Defense. There was also housing, where you could buy and decorate a house, or start with an empty lot and build it from the ground up. There was actually quite a bit more woven throughout the game. It was pretty much a series of games within a game, and I've never found anything else quite like it. The worst side content is any MMORPG that doesn't have it. Alright, fair enough. What is the best and or worst side content you have ever played? Where did you play it? Um, the side content I most enjoyed was a TCG. My favorites were in Free Realms and EverQuest. Housing comes in a close second. Why is Layla always the prettiest character in every game they play? She just is. Deal with it. Don't be jelly. Uh, do they consider it to be their personal form of side content, or is it just a natural inclination? It's a natural talent, but it's been perfected into an art form. <laughs> uh, Layla, um, f their first uh, quality is being humble. Uh, please explain why fashion is the most crucial form of side content ever invented. It is a documented fact that monsters always eat the prettiest character last. How well you do something is not as important as how good you look doing it. Dissenting opinions are incorrect. And Layla is saying correct. Alright, thank you for answering. We didn't get many answers for, for this poll. I usually get like six, seven answers. Um, but this time we have three. Um, I'm grateful for the three I have. But um, yeah, um, I guess there won't be as much discussion. But uh, this one was a very, very elaborate and good answer. So thank you, Leila, for providing the poll and answering it in a meaningful way. All right, next one. And now we have Ishan saying, how do you define side content in an MMO? Side content would be any content that isn't needed to progress through the main game, but isn't after the story of the game is over. Yeah, pretty much. Do you like side content? Why or why not? Yes, they add more things to do in-game and are nice distraction from the main quest line and can sometimes give good XP and loot gear. Um, I guess, but um, in my mind, side content shouldn't give XP. At least, um, it, could be, it could give XP in the, the field, in the, the, the type of activity that the side content takes part in, but... Uh, uh, yeah, gear, I'm not so sure, maybe cosmetic stuff, but uh, I see side content as something that if you don't do the side content, you won't lose anything uh, in the main game, we'll say. Uh, anyway, hope it makes sense. Uh, which game can you think of that has the greatest need for it? Villagers and Heroes, level 75 to 80 90 content. 
I'd say put deities in all of that linear path from Rai to Zorion marshlands. Y yeah, but... I mean, yeah, it's true, but man, I'm not a fan of deities. Oh, I am not. Which game can you think of that should never have it? Explain why. Terraria, because it's not needed. I mean, it's true, there's a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, there's too much stuff to do in Terraria. And this is why I'm uh, not playing it. But, uh, yeah. What game has the best side content? Which has the worst? Elaborate. Pokemon has best because it helps us explore more of the world. Recent games have side, content, have side quests and side zones which are not needed to play through the entire game main story. Uh, I'm not so sure I'm completely understanding what you're trying to say. Um, I know, I would say that um, the newer games... I've seen a few videos about uh, Diablo 4 and the side content in that and uh, Rurikan is a YouTuber I really like and he, he played quite a bit of Diablo 4 and uh, <laughs> it was like, man, in the battle pass there's some side content you need to do and it's like teleport to your own base like five times. I, I mean, it's not that, but it, it, it it's something ar around those lines and it's like, oh my god, why? You know, it's like uh, crouch ten times and get the reward. Why do you need to do it? Because I told you so. You need to keep playing the game. Um, yeah, so most recent games I think are pretty much riddled with chores just to up the, the, the playtime. Uh, anyway, let's... Uh, VNH has the worst side content in 75 to 90 zones. The side content quests are non-existent and if there are any dailies, etc., they give very, very little XP. Yeah, yeah the, the, the grind um, is rough uh, in, in around those, uh, those levels in VNH. I would say level 80 is pretty much where things really slow down. Um, what is the best and or worst side content you have ever played? Where did you play it? Uh, Pokemon has the best side content played on the Nintendo DS. What side content did Pokemon have? Uh, I've played Pokemon on the Nintendo DS, but it's been like 20 years, so I really don't remember like side content. I mean, apart from going and catching some more Pokémon, I, I I don't remember it. Please, elaborate. Uh, VNH has the worst side content played on PC. I I Ishan is uh, is kind of mad at VNH these days. Um, he, I I think he holds the grudge because of the um, the new balancing stuff they they made. Uh, why is Layla always the prettiest character in every game they play? Do they consider it to be their personal form of side content, or is it just a natural inclination? Please explain why fashion is the most crucial form of side content ever invented. Damn it, William Owen, why does Layla get to have an entire question to herself? Where's my poll? Where's the question about me? There better be a poll video with a question about me in the future. Well, it's in your hands. Leila is pretty yes cause she spends so much time making a cutest character. I don't know, it's Leila, ask her. Uh, fashion and... Fashion in this, con and in this context, clothing wardrobe items is very important because it gives player a side goal to make obtain them if they are obtainable by either grinding or through completing quest or crafting, as it's a welcome change of pace from the game's main storyline, and it also adds to the aesthetic of the character. Dissenting opinions are incorrect. Only if your opinion descends from mine. <laughs> Alright. 
Thank you, Ishan, for uh, answering. I hope you'll you'll enlighten me on the uh, Pokemon side content in the comments section. Um, all right, next. The last but not the least, Old Man Gamer, aka Zachariah. Uh, he have a um, YouTube channel, Old Man Gamer. Go 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 see that. I, I think it's Old Man Gaming actually. Um, I'll put a link in the description of the video. Go go subscribe. He's making great podcasts and reviews. How do you define side content in an MMO? The game, just in general. It's um, it's a take I can I can get. Um, MMORPGs, unless there's a very clear story, like in Final Fantasy, or maybe World of Warcraft. But um, when it's like um, more of a sandbox MMO, I mean, pretty much everything can be considered as as side content in a way. Do you like side content? Yes, though there needs to be a level of thought and quality put into it. Sick of side quest about collecting 20 peppers and whatnot. Yeah, totally. Totally. It, it, I hate chores. At, at some point, it, it becomes just that. So, yeah. Which game can you think of that has the greatest need for it? I can think of one MMO that doesn't have a metric fun fuck ton of it. Um, well, seems that uh, VNH needs some more. Uh, which game can you think of that should never have it? Explain why. What game has the best side content which has the worst? Elaborate. Uh, Skyrim. All of the side content had meaningful payoffs and through lines to the point where it was hard to tell what was the main quest or not. Oh, totally. The Civil War storyline in that game has nothing to do with the main quest. Yeah, I never finished Skyrim, but I, I remember at some point playing it. I've played maybe 20-30 hours of Skyrim, so it's it's not a lot. Um, but um, I remember at some point being a bit confused about, well, if I want to continue the main quest, what am I supposed to do? So uh, yeah. and. Uh, Zach decided to not answer the question about uh, about Layla. So uh, it is what it is. I can't I can make people do stuff, you know. I could tell you to like this video, but uh, only 3 of you will. So anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you Zach uh, for answering the poll. And it's already the end of this uh, of this episode. So um I'm on vacation. Uh, I said I have two weeks of vacation. I have some chores to do, you know, some side quest. Uh, but um, I, I, I want to try to make a bit more videos. I've been slacking off lately, well, because I didn't have much time. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to do more stuff. So uh, in the meantime, go go play games. Come join my Discord channel. Uh, next poll should be up pretty soon. Uh, but the next video of the poll will be up like in winter. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for now. Have fun. Go play games and uh, do some side quests in real life. Go gather some money or, or something. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye.